Hi, my name is Madrula Sham, and I developed the app AP GoPow. With 139 terms and six unit tests, AP GoPow helps students prepare and practice for the Advanced Placement Exam for Government and Politics, also known as AP GoPo. The app is intended for students studying for AP Government and Politics, as well as anyone interested in learning about United States government and politics. After taking the exam and course last year, I got questions from many of my friends and classmates asking for resources to study for the exam and how to prepare. Since there was no one resource that I used to study, I thought it would be helpful to create an app that focuses on the important terms and concepts to help me to get a 5 on the exam. To create the app, I use a Flutter SDK on Android Studios and the Dart programming language. The app is available on Google Play and is compatible on all devices. In my code, I separated all the classes into five folders. Pages, quizzes, terms, UI for user interface, and utils for utilities. In pages, I had the outlines for each page constructed so that the classes in the other folders could add in each page's functionality. For example, quiz page constructed each new page that would pop up when answering a question. Here the layout from the answer choices to the questions are provided. Quizzes is where I store the individual questions and answer choices for each unit test. I would use the question class to find the utils to customize the questions for each unit test and save the class accordingly. Terms is similar in that I define the terms list for each unit. However, here I use entries to create the interactive flashcards that reveal and hide the definition of each term. Under UI, I define the tools and graphic design for the entire app, from colorful answer choices to the animation of getting an answer right or wrong, as seen under the correct wrong overlay. Here the turn error operator sees if whether or not the is correct variable is true, and then from there prints out correct. Under utils, I define the basic class structures that are customized for the rest of the program, such as in quizzes and terms. Finally, the main class defines the beginning of the app, when it opens up and appears on the screen. When you open up the app, a page like this will come up. You can choose to either review terms or test your knowledge. In review terms, you will see a terms list from six units. Inside each unit are expansion tiles. Press one of the terms to see the definition. Press again to hide it. Once you feel comfortable with the unit, you can review the rest of the units by pressing the back button. Or you can test your knowledge by pressing the back button again and tapping on the start icon. There you will see the same six units, but this time when you tap on one of the units, an exam will begin. You cannot go back after starting the exam and you cannot change your answers. After selecting your answer, an icon will appear to let you know whether you are right or wrong. After finishing the exam, you can see which terms you missed along with your score. If you need any help navigating the app, a help button is situated at the bottom of each section. From there, a page will pop up, telling you more about the app and what it does.